as sit just above 63 inch, we continually test it, test it, test it, test it. What you're looking for was on the move back down towards 63, the final time when we broke, is value really started to drop. Value started to drop from before we actually got the break, and that's the crucial part of it. So, sorry, did I say value? Delta starts to drop before you actually get that break. So as, as you start seeing this delta drop, you start seeing this candle expand before we reach these lows, that very quickly says to you, now's the chance, this is the one where I can have a go at breaking the low, where I can have a go at selling that breakout. Target-wise, you've got a nice easy target on this. Close from yesterday down at 43s. We get that drift down. Now, it's not the easiest move to be on because the fact it doesn't, it doesn't straight line like everyone wants it to. But equally, it never really came back and put anyone under a great deal of pressure. You look at on a one minute chart, we're not seeing any real rotations higher. This is perhaps the, the worst part of it. But in real time, what happened there is you got a splash through 60, which just pulled back. So it was sort of a sudden move that you got the expected pullback after a sudden move, and then a drift lower. Now, what to be watching out for here, this first arrow, so of course arrow one, where we consolidate sideways at 55 for three, four minutes, Delta continues to drift lower. That's the kind of thing that you want to see because that's saying to you, you don't need to be out of this. People are still selling this and there's clearly no willingness to go up because it's not even managing to uptick enough to, to try and find out if there's any more buyers higher up. It, it cannot do that. And so that's very quickly saying to you, right, well, you should be staying in this trade and you can still be thinking about the target down towards 43. We then, on arrow two, get a move down towards 46, but on the bounce here, and this is where Delta's starting to give you a clue that perhaps this isn't going to go too much further. On the quick pullback here and the four or five minute consolidation, you actually see Delta drifting higher. It has one last shot down, and when you see it on a price adder, you see that comes in the form of a very quick whack, straight down. Hits it straight down towards 43, and then bounces quite quickly back up to 44, 45. The fact that you've seen Delta starting to turn already, as the price has bounced back up, unlike it did in the first example, that quick flick down and slam of volume that you get into the lows very much looks like the last attempt at a sell. You see it when I show you it on a price adder, um, and that gives you a very good clue that if you were targeting 43 and thinking maybe there's more in this, it's telling you there probably isn't, at least short term. There may well have been. As it turns out, there wasn't, and we'd reversed all the way back up towards 63s. There may well have been, but with that type of price action, with that um, delta sort of bounce straight away from 46s, you can start thinking, no, this isn't going to happen. I should exit 43s where I was intending. So as I say, we'll talk through this in a little bit more detail on Wednesday. A nice little example of using delta before the move actually happens or before that break comes in, giving you that early entry and giving you that possibility of selling 62, 63s and targeting 43. So a nice 20 tick move, which didn't put you under a great deal of pressure once it actually broke through and started moving.